there, if we haven't met yet, my name is Sarah and I'm the mom next door. Today I'm going to walk you through how to use Evernote on your iPhone. I'll show you how to set up a binder, how to add notes to your binder, how to use Evernote to organize things like recipes, and a few other tips and tricks I've learned along the way. Let's start with the basics and talk about how to get started in Evernote. Let's start by opening up the Evernote app. Yours might look different when you first open it up. I already have notes in mine, so I can see those at a glance. In the bottom left corner, you'll see three lines. That's your menu icon. Go ahead and tap the menu icon, and you should see a menu pop up on your screen. You can get to a lot of different places from the menu, but let's talk about notebooks first. Think of your notebooks like binders that are full of pages of information. I like to use binders to organize recipes, but you might use them for all kinds of different things. Start by creating a new notebook. Tap on the green new notebook icon and then give your notebook a name. As an example, I'll just call this my recipe book. My notebook is now created. It's empty, so let's add a note. Tap the new button and tap note, and you can add a note here. Because I'm using a recipe book as an example, I'll go ahead and title this note as the name of the recipe. Below the title, I'll start listing out the ingredients of this recipe and adding the instructions too. You can make bulleted lists or numbered lists, you can make your font bigger or smaller, use italics, bold, underline, very similar to the functions of Word. So once you've completed adding all of the text to your note, you can also add an image. To add an image, click the blue plus sign in the bottom left corner, then select image. The app will take you to the photos in your phone and you can navigate through your photos to find the image you wanna to add to your note. Now let's add a tag. Tags are a great way to organize your notes into categories. Click the tag icon in the top right. If you've used tags before, you'll see a whole menu of your previous tags that you've used, and you can select as many of those tags as you want. Evernote saves your work as you go. So if you hit the back arrow, it'll take you back to the notebook that you were in, and your new note will be there where you can see it. Let's talk about how to browse through your notes once you have a bunch of them set up in your app. Each time you reopen your app, it'll look something like this. If you click on notes towards the top left, then you can browse through all of the notes that you have saved to your various notebooks. You can scroll down and look through and you can change how they're displayed, sorting them in different ways and changing your view so that it looks like a list with small icons or a list with larger icons. How to use the scratch pad. Think of the scratch pad like a sticky note that's always there when you open up your Evernote app. From the display you see when you first open Evernote, you can also scroll down to a scratch pad. This is where you can make super quick notes that you don't want to forget, or you can make things that you want to be able to see at a glance. I like to keep my weekly meal plan on my scratch pad. Let's talk about how to move a note. You might want to move a note if you accidentally saved it to the wrong notebook. Open the note that you want to move. In the top right corner, click the three dots. You'll have a whole menu of options. Towards the bottom of the list is the option Move Note. Select that option and then you'll get a list of your notebooks in your Evernote app. The notebook that your note is currently saved to will be highlighted in blue. Tap the notebook you want to move your note to. You'll see a message at the top of your screen confirming that the note was moved. How to edit or add tags. From your menu, tap on tags. This will take you to a tag menu. You'll see all of your current tags listed. The menu icon in the bottom left will bring up some options to edit your tags. Tap on Edit Tags, and now you'll see three white dots to the right of each tag. 
Next to the tag that you want to edit, tap on those three white dots. From here, you can edit your tag name or delete your tag altogether. To create a new tag, tap on the green New Tag. You'll then be prompted to create a name for that tag. Tap Create to save. How to sketch in Evernote. To create a sketch, go to the notebook you want to add your sketch to. Then tap Sketch. You'll have a blank screen and you can use your finger and your touch screen on your phone to write, draw, doodle, or sketch. As you explore Evernote, you'll find lots of other fun features and helpful features too. I hope you found this video helpful as we covered the basics about creating notebooks, creating notes, organizing with tags, and more. If you have any questions or if there's other features you would like to see a tutorial on, please post in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching.